Good morning, y'all. My hair is kind of crazy today. It is when I don't do anything with it. So, it's a new day, new weekly vlog. Um, I was supposed to have my first, like, first full day of work today and that didn't happen because the girl that's supposed to train me um, couldn't come in and train me today. I couldn't go in and, and train, <laughs> basically. Um, so that kind of sucks because I was like really excited. It's kind of weird that I'm like feeling bummed about it, but. So now I'm at home trying to find something to do, but I'll probably end up just reading some books. Not a whole lot going on this week. Um, I need to watch Bachelor in Paradise today, though I already know, spoiler alert, that, is my camera having focus issues? No, we're good. Um, that Colton is the new Bachelor, so, that's exciting. I feel really, really bad for Tia just because I know how bad she wanted things to work out and I wanted things to work out for her, but I feel like we kind of knew that he wasn't really all in and I feel like he did give it, excuse me, his best and Yeah, so I feel bad for her, but now they can move on. She can find someone new. She had her chance on The Bachelor. Uh, what season was she? I don't even know. Um, he had a chance, but now he gets a real chance, and I'm really excited for him. So I think it will be good. Um, he is actually a bachelor that I would like to watch because Ben and Nick were like, didn't really care for them. And Ari was like, okay, like whatever. So yeah, that's kind of all that's happened today. Okay, so I wanted to share a funny story. One time, oh, sorry. I went to this Bombay house, um, cuisine of India. One time I went there with my dad and it was for a school project. And um, it was in like my communications class and we had to, um, Oh, we had to do something um, like in a different culture and um, like talk about and like write about how hard communication was or how it could um, be difficult for those not of that culture or you know language or anything like that anyway so <laughs> We were supposed to go alone and do it by ourselves because that was part of like was it hard was it not hard kind of thing and um, I just remember I was like yeah I'm not doing this by myself <laughs> I'm not gonna go somewhere alone and I was talking with my dad about what I should do where I should go a lot of people were going to like the Greek festival that kind of thing and he said well why don't we go try like um, like a restaurant, you know, from a place that would be difficult for you to talk their language and like be in their culture and stuff. And um, so we came to this Bombay House of India cuisine. And um, anyway, so we ate the food. Well, my dad did. I just had their bread. I think it's called pita bread. It's like the only good thing there. Anyway, um, I wrote my paper and like did a presentation on it for class and I got docked points on it because I went with my dad instead of going alone like I was supposed to. <laughs> so 
there's my funny story. So I'm about to go in my mom's house and see her dog. So I want to record his reaction. Look at that cute thing out there on the grass. Jack! <laughs> okay, you guys, so the church just released the artist rendering photo of the um, newest LDS temple, which is in Idaho. Look how freaking gorgeous. It's gonna be in Pocatello, so beautiful. I mean, so that they just, they always like draw like little people just to make it look like as realistic as possible. But like, look, this is ginormous. It's gonna be three stories. It looks like it's gonna be amazing and beautiful. And I'm, they're gonna start building it in 2019. And they said it should take them about two to three years to build it, which is a really long time, but that's pretty normal for most LDS temples, two to three years. Hi, oi, oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. <laughs> Hi, are you so happy that I'm home? Okay, you guys, I just got home, hey, I just got home from a women's retreat, um, oh, LDS women's retreat. And that's why I look like a crap <laughs> because about halfway through, whoa, about halfway through the day, I decided that, um, just heard something. It was, um, really good. The retreat is called Salt LDS Retreat, which is like the word salt, like that you put on your food. <laughs> Sometimes people, i.e. me, often hear the wrong thing from what like someone actually said. So, yeah, S-A-L-T, like you put on your food. And about halfway, I like stuff all over the kitchen table. About halfway through the day, this bad boy shut up. Sorry, I don't look at the rest of my girl's face. Right underneath that is a cut. My little niece. -y. Just kidding, I don't call her that. She's my niece. She is in that stage that often little kids go through where they grab everything and it hurts really bad. And she grabbed my lip and my face and her nail scratched me right underneath where that zit is. So now that the zit is there, I'm currently dying of pain. And I'm sure that you just all really cared to know that. So, moving on. Um, I got Zupas for dinner because where we live, there ain't no Zupas. There ain't no Zupas anywhere near where we live. So I take advantage, full advantage when I come. Okay, hey everyone. So, um, while I am waiting for my husband to get home. I thought that I would um, end the vlog for you since I didn't do that um, after 
the event that I went to. Um, so I didn't really share like a whole lot of how the event went and um, just kind of like my feelings on it. I'm in my comfy robe right now because it's freezing cold in our house. It's starting to get a lot colder outside. And I'm not feeling so well today. So anyway, um, the retreat was amazing. I, like I had so much fun. And I didn't film any of it because I really just wanted to like be there, like in the present. I know that sounds so cheesy, but it's true. <laughs> um, I really just wanted to feel inspired and um, like meet new people and um, be brave and go by myself and just learn. I didn't go with any questions or um, kind of hoping to get anything specific out of it. I just really wanted to go and to be there and be surrounded by um, all of these amazing women um, who share my beliefs and um, support me and lift me up. So it was really, really good. Um, it was a long day. I kind of felt really tired about halfway through the day, like extreme exhaustion hit me really hard and I don't even know why. Um, but we had an incredible opening speaker who gave us all a free book. Um, So this is the book that we all got and this is the author. Um, she came and spoke to us and she did really, really well. Um, she spoke on the atonement of Jesus Christ and um, it was really, really good and she was really, really nice and then we broke off into classes. There were um two class options and i went to um i can't even remember now <laughs> i need to go get my notebook so i can see um Or at least this. So the first class I went to, we talked about um, like being warriors and um, kind of like who we are as daughters of God and our identity in Christ and um just kind of what we're capable of accomplishing in life with god's help and that kind of thing it was really really good and then the next one that i went to um i didn't really have like i didn't really have an interest in either of the next two classes that we could choose from. So I just went to one called Finding Joy in Motherhood. And um, it was really amazing. And there was some music played and um, just talk of, of motherhood. But I kind of also just took a break. Then we took a lunch break and they served lunch and it was really good. We just had sandwiches and dessert and fruit. And they had a soup option, but I don't really like soup. So I didn't have any. Sorry if I look like death. I feel like a big cold is coming on. So it really sucks. Um, the next 
two classes that we had after lunch. Um, I went to one about creating my life. Um, and that sounds kind of like it may have been more of like creating as like in an artistic way. Um, but it was just like we are in control of like our emotions and how we talk to ourselves, how we talk about ourselves. Um, we sometimes can choose the emotions that we feel for the day, you know, um, and just how we can create a better life for ourselves. And it was pretty good. I kind of wish I would have went to the other one that was offered, um, but it was still really good and it was pretty fun. Um, the speaker was really amazing and really just like full of energy and ready to teach so that was awesome and then after that we had um round table discussions for about two hours so basically that's where they had like so many tables set up with a speaker at each one and then we got to go to three different tables in the two hours and learn like in a quick 30 35 minute discussion or something um like a specific topic that they were teaching on or whatever and i went to um a class about making time for what we love and our hobbies and doing things for ourselves um then I went to another one about record keeping, which is basically just like journaling and keeping a record of your family and kind of learned how important it is um, still in this day, even with technology being so heavy um, and at the forefront of our minds, it was really, really good. And then the last one I went to was um, about empowering women to get into God's word. Um, to study our scriptures every day and how it can help us as women and um, how we can have that time for ourselves with God and, and study our scriptures. So that was really fun. And then we took about a half an hour break while they kind of cleaned the room back up and set everything back to where it was supposed to be. And we all just kind of mingled and this is kind of where I got to meet a lot of new people and say hi to those I follow on Instagram that were there and just kind of have fun and hang out and relax and you know go to the bathroom if we needed kind of a thing so uh, that was pretty neat and then we had a musical number um it was beautiful she everyone that sang um that day was like so extremely talented it was crazy then we had a really, really good closing speaker um, by a woman named Kim, um, who is currently um, I don't know that she necessarily has cancer right now, but I know um, that she's just kind of going through some health things and she's had cancer in the past and just a really big battle really crazy and her talk was mostly just on like how god is in the small small details um every little thing that seems like a miracle or you know doctor that showed up in her life and performed miracles on her um you know that that was god in the details that kind of a thing and it was just a really amazing story and everyone was crying not a single dry eye in the house and um yeah it was really amazing and then we had an incredible um musical number these two women were singing one of the most beautiful songs i've ever heard um it's called take me to the king and um like they their voices were so incredible. Like I felt like I was watching like America's Got Talent or The Voice or something. <laughs> Cause it was so good. They were so good. They were so like, they could, they could have sang the whole thing without microphones and it would have been just as beautiful. And um, anyway, so it just was like a really, really, really good day. 
and um, I forgot to say during lunch they had a um, someone come and talk to us about the service projects that we were doing. It was um, Operation Underground Railroad. And if you don't know what that is, it is, um, they deal with um, sex trafficking. They, um, they save, they like rescue um, children and teenagers and um, you know, young adult women and, and everything from sex trafficking and um, so our service project was to help um, bring donations to provide for aftercare um, after the rescue missions and the video that they showed was just really heartbreaking so we were really glad that we were able to um, provide these gifts um, for the aftercare so it was really cool anyway it was a really really neat event and I'm super super happy that I went because I noticed the next day I was kind of falling back into my normal routine of like not saying my prayer not reading my scriptures kind of a thing and and I felt myself feeling doubtful and really nervous about the next day and I immediately noticed the change in my spirituality from the day before and how how badly um, I wanted to get back into that. And um, yeah, so anyways, it was really, really good. And if you made it all the way to this part of the video, thumbs up for you. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty good week. So um, if you would like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my channel. This is more um, just kind of personal vlogging, you know, random things here and there. Um, and I'll see you next time.